Hello, hello, everybody. How are you doing today? Well, welcome to Homeschooling Oils. My name is Tina, and today I'm going to show you the inside contents of the Real Science for Kids curriculum. Thank you to Andrew Check Academy for sending this ama these amazing um, items to our homeschool for us to enjoy. Thank you so much. And I am not too sure on the price point because, like I just said, th these were gifted to me. Um, from another amazing homeschooling mom. So, but I'm going to show you the inside of it. I do already have a video in regards to the biology aspect, but I just want to show you um, the other ones that I have as well that she just sent me. And just in case you're looking for a really cool, really neat way to cover these uh, hard topics, I should say, and within the science world, I really love... Now, it's very few curriculum that I really, really like, 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 or love, 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 and... You know what? I do not have to do a lot of adaptations to this curriculum. I use it as it is. And that is that speaks a lot for this curriculum because I always, I'm always changing. Now, I did not say I don't add anything to it because, you know, I'm going to always add, <laughs> add additional resources. But I can use this as is. And I, it's very, very few curriculums other than Connected Spelling for Active Learners that I can actually do that with. So let me go ahead and show you how it looks. So the curriculum, when you have the whole set, it actually comes with, it actually comes with the teachers, I mean the textbook, the laboratory workbook, and it comes with the teacher's manual. So let me show you a little bit of it. So the teacher manual is basically going to give you the instructions that you need in order to teach, excuse me, to teach this particular topic and it also have the answers for you as well now all the answers are not here because some things the child is going to be the child's analysis from and you can just line it up and they can do all the different little things and, and it's broken down the reason why i like it is because it's not a thick book so you can actually if you're doing a semester kind of thing you can just do a unit of this um biology then switch over to physics because they have way way more they have biology Chemistry, physics, geology, astronomy, and I think that's it. It may be some more, but I only have three. Okay, so let me show you. I already told you the teacher. Let me stay on track because this is gonna. I don't want this video to be too long. So this is how the the student book looks. I love it. This is this is for this particular curriculum fits all learning styles in my personal opinion on the way that it delivers it. It's broken down in wonderful, wonderful chapters. And I love it. It's only 10 chapters long, which means if you're into unit studies, you can take each chapter and make it an individual unit study that you can add on and have fun. You can make it a week um, unit study, two weeks, three weeks, a month, however long you want to do it. And this this chapter, these 10 chapters can last you so long. And I just love how color-coded is the writing and the diagramming. All of this amazingness in this book. I just really, really love the way they display everything in the book. Sorry I'm going so fast. I just don't want this video to be too long. I like the way they highlight the different words. The vocabulary words are different colors from the regular reading within the book. And like I said, beautiful colors, beautiful illustrations. And I always build on with resources like... Um, with our microscope, we do different things, and then I have different DVDs that highlight this, and then I try to incorporate a field trip or two and experiments within the house. Now, with the laboratory, this is the book your child is actually going to be working in to go along with each lesson. So, and each lesson is kind of like broken down. You have about five different things, different experiments that you do. I think about five different ones, five different experiments. And your child actually do break everything down, doing different stuff, right? And very, very cool. Um, doing different things with definitions. You it breaks down and tell you the materials that you're gonna need for each one. If you have more than one child, I would suggest, like with me, um, I really like having an individual textbook for each child. But with this, is the way that it's done. My children actually share the textbook, but you make they have a laboratory book all on their own. So no printing or copies for myself, <laughs> which is a win-win. So I love it. So now I'm going to show you the inside of the physics book. First, I'm going to show you the teacher's manual. 
here, which will hold all of your instructions and guidance and also give you a rundown of how long this particular um, chapter will take with a rundown. They even break it down with 30 minutes to an hour for the experiments. The reading should take 30 minutes and giving you different materials that you should use and also the answers. All right. So this is how the physics book look textbook for your children. And what's all you're going to be going through with the physics, the energy, the motion, the atoms. Love the color. I just love the way that they do this. Just love it. Again, let me go back. I think it's 10 chapters as well because we'll be perusing in this later on this year. See how nice it is? How nice it is? And so if you have a student that really don't like overwhelming thick thick books this will be amazing and as a parent trying to keep up with all those thick books the, and the information is very thorough it's not just thin and not and don't have a lot of great information it's thin but it has amazing information in it along with the projects um you will have to go out and purchase the materials to go with your project. But a lot of these things you will already have in your home anyway. Now, you might not have a tennis ball, everyone, but that's relatively inexpensive. Yarn, a string, a paper clip, and a marble. A lot of these things you're gonna have in your home anyway, and what you don't have in your home, you can actually go to Dollar Tree and purchase it because I have not yet to spend an enormous amount of money with the project prep because I can go to Dollar Tree to get everything. Now this is the laboratory book that I encourage you to get for each one of your children, not unless you buy the book and then make a copy for each one of your other children. Now here is the chemistry, the chemistry. This is the teacher's manual. And you know, it's not really, you know, it's not fun like that. <laughs> it's just basically um, the answers, explanations, suggestions, materials, the setup, the prep time, all that good stuff for us, you know. This is the um, textbook for the chemistry, and it gives, and it's 10 chapters long, and it tells you basically everything, and it has the periodic table in it, so you know I'm going to be pulling out my periodic table flashcards, and also my Usborne periodic table book when we get to that part. But this is the chemistry. I love the way they present it in so much color and the print. I just, just love it. Um, like I said, it's very, very rare I find something that I really, really like this much. And my son and daughter, they're both different type of learners. They learn different. They're not the same type of learner, I should say. However, I, this appeals to both of them. They thoroughly enjoy this. And these are the laboratory books. Very, very little planning and prep. And it, it tells you all the materials. Like I said, look, they have most of all this. Um, you can get a red uh, head of red cabbage, not hard. Distilled water, um, vinegar, soda, milk, mineral water, a saucepan, knife, eye drop. Like, th that stuff is not expensive. So, most of this stuff you probably have in your house anyway. So, it's just really, really fun and no planning for mama. So, I wanted you guys to see the inside contents of the real science for kids curriculum now they do also have a high school version and they also have an elementary version um i am going to be adding more things to this for my high schooler however my high schooler will be using this as well um but i'm going to be adding more stuff because i do have a biology textbook as well that I will be uh, pulling different stuff from that goes with this and also some other stuff that peruse a little bit deeper on some other stuff. So, and also the chemistry book and the physics book. I'm going to have some more stuff to add on to her things to make it high school level. But if you just think about it for a moment, biology is a biology. Chemistry is chemistry. Physics is physics. It's just, it's just that, based on your grade level determines how much they're going to expose you to certain avenues of that topic for your grade level but it never it doesn't change so you can easily use something that is below level and add stuff onto it to make it level now this is level for my my son because he's a middle schooler but for my daughter i'll have to add some more stuff to it um 
but love it, love it, love it. Do not have the high school. Do not plan to get the high school one because I just love this one. And I'm just going to use the high school textbooks that I already have to add on. So I hope you guys enjoy seeing the inside contents of this amazing book. I will talk to you or these amazing books. I will talk to you guys later. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.